Well, I remember sitting in a doctor's office about two years ago over Christmas break, and I looked at my dad and I said, I don't think I'm ever going to run again. I think I'm just supposed to hang it up. I think God's telling me I'm just supposed to stop. Um, okay, so uh, I'm Brent Lieber. Um, I'm a graduate student on the cross country and track and field teams here at Lipscomb. I'm in my seventh year of college, and yet I still have eligibility to run left, which is pretty incredible and just another blessing from God. This school was not on my radar at all. I remember actually getting a letter from Lipscomb when I was a junior in high school. I found that God was kind of drawing me towards Lipscomb for one reason or the other, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. It was quite a quite a journey to start. Uh, my first two years here were awesome. I met so many friends. <laughs> College life was going good. It was pretty normal. Um, I was running. I was competing every season. I was healthy. And uh, all of a sudden, the spring of 2017 uh, was kind of when things took a turn. I started getting a pain in my back. It ended up being a stress fracture in my lower back. But that was basically the start of a two year period where I was in the darkness for sure. Um, I had a lot of voices in my head uh, just kind of questioning like what was happening to me. Basically I just kept getting stress fracture after stress fracture. Um, I was going to doctors and specialists. There were no answers to be found. But by the grace of God, uh, he led me to the Mayo Clinic. The same way he led me to Lipscomb, he led me to the Mayo Clinic. And after about a year of no answers, I went to the Mayo Clinic, was there 10 days. Finally, they came to a conclusion on what was going on. And it was honestly just a malfunction of my pituitary gland in my brain that caused all sorts of hormone imbalances. Uh, but another blessing in it all was we would not have found any of this if I had not been a runner. I was told I might never run again. The actual number of days since I had raced in a college uniform up until the fall of 2019 was 855, so I guess that's like two, two plus years. I just tried to hang tough. It was a lot of lonely hours on an elliptical, a lot of lonely hours on a bike. And I mean, to be honest, I was just hoping to come back out here this season and be a contributing factor to the team. I was kind of like, you know what, God? Like, I'm just happy to be back here. I don't know what's gonna happen, so you take the reins and I'm I'm up for whatever. At this point, God, every opportunity you give me to place up my spikes and put on the Lipscomb jersey one more time is, is a blessing. The fall of 2019, I mean, God's handprints were all over it. It was probably one of the most magical years of my life. I was honestly not focused at all on like the, the outcome of these races, um, the times, the places. Like those were all so secondary because of what God had delivered me through for over two years of literally almost not running a step. The fall was just unbelievable. Just the experiences I got to have with my teammates. I set some PRs, um, I broke school records. Somehow out of the blue, I don't know how, how he made it happen, but I was able to qualify for the NCAA National Championships. Every day I'd show up and I didn't know what to expect and God would do something wild. Looking back on the experience, what I think about is just how I grew in that period as a man, letting God move and just kind of waking up every day with an open mind knowing that um, I am so small and insignificant in this world, but God is so much bigger and he can take super ordinary people like me with super ordinary lives and ordinary stories and do something incredible. One of my favorite verses in the Bible is out of John 3.30, and it's really simple. It just says, um, he must become greater, I must become less. And I feel like that's something that God invites all of us to do um, on a daily basis, is just figuring out how we can share more of him with other people and um, put him on the ultimate pedestal that he deserves and kind of making ourselves less so that he can become greater. Um, so that's what I'm going to keep trying to do the rest of my life and um, hopefully like use my story to inspire other people, knowing that uh, God can do incredible things through 
really ordinary people. These other accolades, I mean, it's just kind of icing on the cake, but I, I really just want to give the glory to God. And I mean, it's just, it's crazy how it happened, but I'm just thankful to be out here with my guys just running. Even if we're running eight minute pace, it's, it's just a great feeling to be back out here.